Hey guys, it's Neon and we have another unboxing and review of a tablet today. This one is from XP Pen. They actually reached out to me after I did the Wacom reviews and said, hey, you wanna try one of our tablets? I'm like, sure, I'll try uh, one of your tablets. And what they sent was a 24 inch Pro tablet. Like this, this is massive. This is the Artist 24 Pro. As of recording this video, it's not even available in stores yet, but I will put a link down below. You can pre-order it. I think it ships in the middle of, of June. Now this is gonna be really interesting because I've never used XP Pen ever. Um, I've used Wacom before, I've used Yanova, uh, but I have never used an XP Pen. I've heard good things about them. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna unbox this unit and then I'm gonna do some drawing for you and I'm going to, I guess, give you my, my feeling on this tablet. Again, I'm, I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. And we'll see if it's a, a truly viable option to some of the other brands out there. Okay, guys, so I'm going to open this up. Um, I mean, this thing is is massive. It's a 24-inch tablet. I, I don't even know if Wacom makes a 24-inch. I think they have a 22-inch tablet. Um, but this is definitely the biggest tablet I've ever seen or it's used. It's big. It's very big. Geeky's here helping me Hello. out because I can't, I can't do this. And it's jelly, um, it's so nice. Uh, so it's got tilt support. It's massive. It does have function buttons, which some people we're kind of complaining about, but a lot of people love the shortcut buttons. Well, I like the tilt support. I know a lot of people actually, you said they, they use tilt support and they like the tilt a lot. Yeah. So that's something that's pretty cool. Yeah. And that feels more like a, a you know, an actual pencil. Right. So, uh, you're, it's usable with both right and left hands. That's people nice. Ask about that. And we'll just flip it around here. Look, before look, I, oh, look how pretty that is. Whoever did that piece of art did a great job. Yeah. I'm going to do some drawing with it. It's not going to look that good. I'm just, I'm going to tell you that's up front. That's beautiful. Uh, here are some of the specs, and I'm going to talk more about specs later after I've had some time uh, to work on. But it does work with Mac and PC, um, which is good. So I'm, I'm going to start opening this thing up. Okay. So this is... Pull that out. All right, so there's what we got inside. Okay, it's very well packed. It is very well packed. It's nice. And uh, let's see what's in here. There's a box in here. It's a box in a box. And uh, man, this thing is going to take... This is gonna take some doing to get this one. Oh, get it started, I'll help. Okay, here we Ready? go. Ready? Wow. Oh my God, this thing's, holy crap, this thing is great. All right, there goes all the parts. <laughs> all right, wow, this is bigger. Oh my God, this thing is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, well, what, how big did you think it was gonna be when well, you said what the measurements were? Yeah, I was just thinking, I mean, this thing is the size of a television. Um, wow. So it's, oh, look at the little It's very cute. It's oh, that is cute. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's like a monolith. Um, it is sturdy. It's really big. It feels like I just bought it. Like, here's my thing. hand in comparison. Uh, I have the can. So people are wondering what these cost. They're not available to the public yet. Again, XP Pen reached out and asked because they saw the, the Wacom videos. Mm -hmm. If I'd like to try it. it's coming soon. It's coming out the 15th. They're gonna start shipping them. I think they are, there is a, gonna be a link in the description, but I think they're about $750 now. But if you wait until it comes out, we're talking 800-ish, which still compared to other brand units, that's it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Now, the Real test is going to be how does uh, how does this perform, and we won't know until we fire it up. Here are the hookups on the side here. You can see all the inputs, and the stand is built in, which is always a good perk. And it's adjustable. So you don't have to buy a separate stand. It's metal. Because a lot of times, you, you with the, some other tablets, you had to buy a separate. Stand. Yeah, this this is built in, and my God, this is sturdy. I mean, this is this is metal. This isn't. I'll verify. Oh yeah, that's nice. So um, I, th I think you'll be able to put your weight on this when you're drawing, which is one thing I'm always concerned about. And um, you know, is is being you know, am I gonna break the tablet by putting my weight on? Oh yeah, you adjustable. can adjust it clear down. That's nice. All right, guys. So here is the here is the box of accessories that came with the tablet. Let's see what we've got. Oh my God, it's got a tool set in it. Look at this. We've got gift. I got a free screwdriver. I mean, I got a free screwdriver. You got a free screwdriver. It doesn't come with a power drill either. So we've got... It's okay, I got one now. I'm um, good. So I think this has, obviously, uh, AC adapter. I think we've got uh, USB and USB-C 
uh, HDMI cables. I mean, this has everything in it that you need uh, to get started. Yeah, this is USB-C. You can see that. Um, maybe. And, no, I can't really. That's okay. They, they'll um, take your word for it. Yeah, power adapter. So this, okay. Now, the one thing I was singing the praises about the, the Wacom One we did last month was how portable it was. It was great to throw it in a bag. Mm -hmm. and make it. This is definitely not a portable unit. I was going to say, this is not very portable. I was going to mention that earlier. Yeah, but... you're going to want to just, uh, you know, find a place to park it. In fact, I'm going to have to rearrange my workspace. Um, this, I take it, would be the eight pen nibs. And here's the stylus. Now, this is what I was worried about with um, some of the, uh, the non- Wacom tablets was that the ones I've used in the past, like the Unova, you had to put batteries mm -hmm. in the oh, stylus, yeah, that's a pain. which made it very thick. And it was like drawing with a big fat Sharpie marker. And I didn't like it. Uh, plus it, the, the uh, parallax on it was. So how do you bad. use this? Is it, does it charge? No, it's just like, I, I'm assuming it works just like a, you know, Wacom does. So, okay. I think. I don't no, know. I don't think it charges. I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to find out. I don't know. I just been asking because I don't usually use this drawing tablets. Yeah, so we've got... I have a degree in art, but I don't have time to draw. So we got the, a nice fancy glove. And we got our... See, that's nice too because sometimes you have to buy it stuff separately. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it seems like it's ready to go right out of the box. So uh, we're going to fire it up. We're going to do some drawing and we're going to let you know what we think. Before we end, can I show them our cool stoplight? Sure. We're in, the, we're in our, our studio used for our Disney stuff. So let me show you our cool stoplight that we have that we never put in videos, but we should. It's unrelated, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> See, we got a stoplight with a Mickey Mouse light sticker on it. Okay, now you can see we've got the unit hooked up in the studio and uh, you can get an idea for just, just how big this tablet actually is. Uh, I actually had to rearrange my entire workspace just to be able to make room for this tablet. And I'm gonna do some speed drawing. I'm gonna show you how I did this drawing. But first I wanna show you how the stylus performs. Uh, you know, that's a big one for most people who are looking at buying one of these tablets is the performance of the stylus. And you know, this stylus again, like the uh, lower end Wacom tablets does not have an eraser but it also doesn't have a battery in it either. It doesn't have to be plugged in. It, it feels very much like a Wacom stylus. I, I like it quite a bit. It's very lightweight. It's not overly thick. And unlike uh, Unova tablets, I've used Unova tablets before. They had batteries in them and they were very, very thick and they felt almost like a like drawing with a magic marker. Uh, I really didn't like that, but this stylus actually performs very, very well. And I'm gonna show you how well in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, I've opened a new document. This is Clip Studio, and I'm gonna show you how well this stylus performs. Now, there is virtually no parallax, which I know is a big one for a lot of you. And there is no jitter either. Let me switch to, this is the pencil tool. You can see the, um, just how responsive this actually is. It's like drawing on paper, and actually the the coating on the screen is very similar to Cintiq. It's not shiny, it's not like a, a glass finish. Again, that was another thing I was afraid of. Uh, Unova tablets have that, that glass finish and it's like drawing on glass. This actually has a texture to it. It's not too dissimilar from uh, the Wacom Cintiq. But the, uh, the pressure is absolutely fantastic. Let me switch to a pen tool. Um, we'll go big here. And, uh, well, it's a little too big. We'll show you There's no jitter, no jitter whatsoever. There's no lag. Now, again, I have mine connected to a gaming PC, my desktop PC. It's actually the same one we use to render videos, but there is virtually no parallax and no lag. I mean, it performs very, very well. I definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, again, I am used to using uh, Wacom tablets and uh, I haven't had a very good experience with third party with uh, other other brands, but I still had some issues with the driver and uh, I still have occasional issues. Like I know when I put the computer to sleep and wake it back up, sometimes it does not want to, you know, take right away. But I just want to show you, this does have tilt. That's one thing that was missing from, again, other tablets I've used that were 
or not walk them. But the XP pen unit is is very, very good. I, I am completely blown away by uh, the performance because I didn't expect it to be this good. I'll be honest. Uh, again, my experience with non Wacom tablets has not been good. It has been a few years since I've used another brand, but I have no problems uh, whatsoever with this. Let's try a little bit of painting here. Again, you can see just how the pressure works, I think. I'm gonna run through the uh, the specs while I show you guys the speed drawing I did, and uh, hopefully that'll answer some more questions that you have. But my, my own personal opinion is that, hey, for the price, I mean, we're talking half the price of a Wacom, the performance is phenomenal. It is a very, very large unit though. So just be aware that, uh, you know, this is a 24 inch tablet. It's gonna eat up a big chunk of your desk space, no doubt. Um, it's massive. It's not moving once you set it down. So be aware of that. Also, the function keys uh, on the side. Some people love function keys. Some people don't. Uh, by default, it's got, you know, zoom in, zoom out. It's a nice little wheel here. And, uh, you know, you can set these in the software to do whatever you like. Now, by default, I think they have them set up to merge layers because I've I found myself merging layers by accident. Let's take a look at the drawing I did with this tablet. And I'm going to talk about some of the tech specs because I know a lot of you are, are going to be wondering, you know, just how this uh, stacks up compared to uh, Wacom and other brands. Okay, guys, so I've had about a week to work with the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro. And here are my thoughts on it. It's a really good unit. It really is. I was very surprised at how good it was compared to, uh, again, Wacom units. I don't have a lot of experience using, you know, other tablet brands, but um, I'm definitely, definitely happy with this unit. It is very, very large. Uh, it's very heavy. It's very sturdy. I put my weight on it. I haven't had any problems with it. I was able to do very, very detailed line work. That's something that, you know, I can't do on a smaller tablet. And something I've had difficulty with working on uh, other brand tablets. I had no problem with the XP Pen. I was able to do very, very intricate work. In fact, I, I did this drawing to just see how fine of a line I could get. Uh, it, it worked brilliantly. I had no problems with it. Now, here are some of the tech specs for those of you who are interested. It is a 24 inch unit. It uh, has 90% Adobe RGB, that is the color gamut. Uh, the display resolution is 2560 by 1440. There are two dials on the side, uh, 20 shortcut keys. Those are programmable. You can use the driver to program those keys in. The stylus is battery free. That was a nice thing. I, I really did not like the Unova units because the stylus took a battery and it was uh, very, very cumbersome to use and it also burned through batteries very quickly. The pressure sensitivity, now this is more than I believe uh, Cintiqs, it's 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. And I can believe it because this thing was like drawing on paper. It was amazing. The color depth is 16.7 million. Contrast is 1,000 to one. It comes with a USB-C port. Uh, you can also use standard USB with it. That's what I think I have mine hooked up to. There's an adapter for that. Uh, you need HDMI as well. And uh, it does work on Windows or Mac. So, you know, I'm trying this again on a Windows 10 unit. I've had no problems. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm very thankful. Uh, thank you again, XP Pen, for thinking of us and, and uh, sending me this unit to review. Uh, very happy with it, this is one I definitely would buy. If you guys are interested in purchasing one, there actually is a, an order link in the description below. It's a very good unit. In fact, I think I'll be using this one quite a bit for uh, some upcoming animated projects we're doing because of the size. I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, I still use my Cintiq, my Wacom One uh, for portable drawing. Throw it in my laptop bag and can go, but if you're looking for a fantastic desktop unit that will not break the bank, uh, consider the XP Pen Artist 24 
Pro. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, uh, art videos, and more. We're getting ready to launch our animation channel at Clownfish Animation. Check that out. Check out the link below if you want to buy one of these units. We'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.